Hey guys, t -Bull here. Uh, today we're going to be talking about aiming and leading your targets with the main gun in uh, World of Warships. So you can see I got a few things circled on the screen here. The first thing in green, um, this says 5.93. That's the distance away uh, the target is from your position in seconds. So this uh, Iron Duke that I'm aiming at here, if I pull the trigger now, it's going to take the projectile 5.93 seconds to get to him. So we're going to round that up to 6 just to make things easier. So we're operating with 6 seconds, and then those upright hash marks that come out of the right and left hand sides of the, the aiming reticle, uh, those are 5, 10, and 15 as you get further out. So you can see on the left, we got the target lined up just past uh, 5. Um, you can see if you divide between this first mark and the second mark in you know, roughly five parts mentally. So we're kind of aiming six seconds ahead of that guy. And then you can see I have a base 20 that's base speed 20 knots. So the system's kind of calibrated to 20 knots being like the default configuration. So I'll keep that in mind. All right, so first we're going to apply this to battleships. Now the average speed of a battleship is roughly 20 and again the base speed that this system is calibrated off is 20 knots so the multiplier you're going to use is 1 times. So basically the seconds that you see on the screen in this uh, particular case 5.93 that's what you're going to use. So basically it's 6 seconds away and we're going to line up the shot um, Six, six seconds ahead, as you can see here. Now you can either add that uh, six seconds to like the front of the ship as we're starting to aim off here, or if you want to move a little bit more to the interior of the ship, um, then you can kind of line up. You'll see we'll, we'll move it a little bit to the left here, just uh, hit more of an interior shot, but we're still uh, operating off at of six seconds. And there's going to be some dispersion with the gun, so it's not going to be exact, but that's basically what you're aiming at. Alright, next up we're going to look at cruisers. Now the average speed of a cruiser is roughly 30 knots, so um, 30 divided by 20, you're going to get a 1.5, so the multiplier looks like the decimal's in the wrong spot there, but should say multiplier 1.5, so for instance if it says 5, um, seconds away then you're going to be looking at like a seven and a half um, distance. And I do want to point out like these are calibrated off of like a fairly large uh, battleship I believe so like as cruisers they become smaller ships and especially destroyers like you're going to have to add in a little bit of extra distance to compensate for the like lost quote-unquote um, size of the ship and I don't know a great way to do that mathematically you just kind of that's kind of part of the feel but the base that you want to work on work off of is like 1.5 and then you're probably for most shots going to have to add a little bit more onto that but you'll see how that plays out and this everything we're talking about today is going to this is the baseline to work from and then there's nuances that you're just going to have to incorporate into your shots you know by practicing so here we're looking at this Phoenix here. Um, he's about five seconds away, give or take. Uh, so we're looking to get about seven and a half. And yeah, next up we're looking at destroyers. The average speed of your typical destroyers is right in the upper 30s, so 37, 38, 39, somewhere in that range. Um, so you want to take your seconds number on the left there and multiply that by a factor of two. Now keep in mind these some bitches are going to be bobbing and weaving and throwing their gear shift and full throttle forward, throw full throttle back, you know, doing everything they can to make it so you can't get a clean shot at them. I, tell you, I think it took like three, four games before I could even come up with a small little clip here to demonstrate, but I... You know, if you can shoot them with HE at close range, that's your best bet. But if they do have to give you a shot at longer range, um, just multiply the seconds by two, and that's going to be your best bet. So here we're looking at about a 
three and a half or so. So you want to multiply that out to like seven and a half to eight range. Just a little past the midpoint on that halfway point on the grid there. Here we'll talk just about uh, sloping angle shots just a little bit. This is more of an art form. Um, obviously, if they're going away from you, you want to shoot a little higher and uh, towards you lower. And the steeper the angle. So if they're coming straight at you, obviously just point it right at their ship and drop the aimer down a little bit so it's below the ship. Shoot straight away the opposite. Put a little above where you're trying to hit. But if they're if they're almost going horizontally, be horizontal horizontally, excuse me, but just a little bit away from you, then uh, just bump it up just a tiny smidge and uh, pull it back. Like in this particular one that we're looking at, let's say he's coming in, so um, in this case we drop it down a little bit and then just move it a little bit um, more toward the left, you know, so we're not going to lead him as much. And the, the closer, you know, if they're coming straight at you, you don't lead them at all. If they're almost coming straight at you, you lead them a little bit. And if they're almost going horizontally, you lead them almost as much as you would normally. So that's something that it just takes practice to get a hang of and you'll get a feel for it. But if you take what you've learned previously in this video and kind of adapt it to this situation, that's the best bet. All right, so this shot, it does, looks like he's going slightly uh, less than full speed to me, and he's coming in a little bit. So instead of like eight and a half, give or take, we're going to move it to um, about seven, seven and a half, and land him right where we're looking. And uh, again, we aimed a little bit lower than what we normally would. So it seems on its face that it can be kind of complicated, but when you really break it down, it's not that difficult. It just takes some practice um, kind of doing the quick math in your head and then uh, applying it on the fly. But once you get the hang of it, aiming's really not that difficult. And like I say, a lot of it's kind of, this is all the baseline structure and that you build upon, and then you got to use your awareness that you'll develop as you play the game more. So I hope you found that helpful and informative. If you did like the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you can consider subscribing. And uh, if you have any questions on aiming or any other parts of the game or any comments, Please leave them below so we can check those out. And we'll see you all later. All right, peace.